Break on that beat, going crazy. It's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. What does an infighter need to do to be successful, Teddy? Well, first of all, Joe, get inside. That helps. But the other thing is once you get inside, you see guys so often they smother themselves. They forget that they need a little room. Rotate your shoulders back a little bit. Create room. Take a little step back if you need to. Throws out the jab, and then brings back the uppercut up top. Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's efforts. Puts forth the hook, scores with it. The Dragon's left now getting into the mix. And he returns on that exchange. Protecting his head well with his guard. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by the kid. Keeping him honest with the double jab up top. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Nice work doubling up that jab. Dragon's right hand scores well that time. The kid's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Parries that punch away. Solid hook upstairs. The kid's so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. The kid jacked by an uppercut. A well-placed left hand up top. Lands flush with the combination upstairs. The dragon's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Here we go, round two is underway. Needs to improve that accuracy, missed with the headshot. Good job protecting himself. Not one, but two. Good work with the jab up top. The kid's doing a really nice job here. I mean, putting his punches together. This is what you're supposed to look like as an offensive fighter. Yes, it is, especially when you have a guy in front of you putting the earmuffs on. You know, you cover up the way that his opponent is. You're supposed to put them together. One or two are going to be blocked. But when you put them together like that, they're going to get through. Get inside. Get inside. Combo lands upstairs. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Clean shot with the right. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Don't walk into his punches. Harry brings the jab right hand. Nice strike after catching one by the dragon. Solid left hand to the head. 90 seconds to go here in this round. He 
just missed that shot up top. Punches and bunches, combination up top. There's that overhand right. The kid's able to land the hook on the inside. Is there anything he should be careful of, though, Teddy, on the inside like that, ripping off the power punches? Yeah, one of them is, and I just saw it a moment ago, he better not admire his work. He throws that punch, and he's looking to see the effect. He might find out the effect on the other side. The guy come right back and catch him. Bang the body. Doubling up the jab now. Very accurate with the overhand right. Not able to connect with the uppercut. The Dragon's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. You see the accuracy now with that double jab up top. The Dragon's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. And round number three is underway. The Dragon's jab can do so much there. He used it well that time. See him timing that double jab to the head. The kid's hand speed right now, the difference with what we just saw, able to land that combination. Yeah, he's probably going to need a little bit more down the road, but right now, that's got him in front. There's the old one-two. Move in, move in. Back to the body. Turning fire, well done by the Dragons. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. The kid's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Not able to land the headshot. Little head hunting with the left. Solid straight right hand. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Nice work. Nice he work. took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Very accurate with the double jab. The kid's punch didn't come close. Good, smart, tactical move here, backing up his opponent against the ropes. The kid showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. The Dragons left, working well that time. Teddy, you talk about going out and making a few opening statements here. The jab has spoken loudly for him. Yeah, it has spoken loudly. What it's told his opponent is you're not just going to walk in. You're not coming into my house. It's going to be hard. I got a couple locks, a couple padlocks on here. The kid's combination punching is working well here. The dragon swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. And now he's targeting upstairs. And now honing in on the target with that double jab. Let's see some more head. Let's see some more head. Get out of the way. Took a shot. Now he gets a left. The dragon. Look at that. There you go. There he goes. Dragon. Look at that. He goes down. Oh, he may be close here. Can he survive the round? One, two, three, four, five, six. And the bell start of round number four. The kid's accuracy has really carried this fight so far. He's up three rounds to zip on your scorecard. Yeah, and again, it's because of what you just touched on. He's been a sharpshooter all night long. The Dragon's showing you a little defensive skill there. I don't move away from that punch. 
the kid's picking up right where he left off. Remember how he finished that last round? Yeah, he really finished strong, really fast. And you know what? This is a thinking man's fight. I know a lot of people are going to say, Teddy's just an aggressive fighter. No, he understands in his corner, understands that his opponent only has 60 seconds to recover, and they're jumping on him, figuring that their opponent hasn't recovered. The dragon's gone into a defensive shell, but that shell has yeah, cracks in it. Yeah, it does, and the reason why it's getting cracked is because his opponent is confident that with those earmuffs on, you know, going into that peek -a defense that he is, he knows he's handcuffed, so he's putting together three, four, five punches where normally he would only throw one or two, worried something's going to come back. The kid's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. The dragon's jab lands well. The kid's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Commits to the overhand right, and it serves him well. Keep working the jab. Well placed double jab. Off target with that hook. One, two, one, two. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. The Dragon's not firing off the big power punches. I gotta wonder why. Sometimes the guy is making a solid agreement in his mind that maybe if I don't hit him hard, he won't hit me hard back. He's not confident enough now to throw the punches without worrying about what had come back at him. He's committed to the combination punching now. It's working out well up top. That's where he wants his man opposite him, right against the ropes. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by the Dragon. Now he's putting his punches together. The combination upstairs. In Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's going to try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. The kid's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. One for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. The kid's doing what every trainer wants to see their fighter do. Land punches in bunches. The combination lands. Good defensive skill. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by the kid. You know, he laid it out to us when we talked to him before the fight. He says, hey, I want to do my damage on the inside. But it's how he's getting to the inside that's really been the payoff tonight, and that's with the jab. Yeah, exactly. Having a jab is like having a credit card. You can buy a lot of things. It's bought him the ability to get inside and go to work. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by the kid. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. A sharp hook to the head by the kid. Well, he's got the attitude. Something's got to stick. He fires off the combination, and they both do. The kid's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Get inside, get inside.
good block. The kid's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. The Dragon's corner has to give him some advice here because that left hand has been scoring too consistently. Exactly, so and there's nothing else that he really has to worry about. Take that out of the equation, he'd be winning the fight. The kid's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Punches and punches working well. The start of the sixth round. The kid's done everything that's been asked of him right now. Absolutely everything through the first half of this fight. Can he keep it up? Yeah. Well, he's sending more than one at him now. The combo to the head. Targeting that head with the combination punching. The kid's well off the mark that time. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter punching. The kid's showing that he was well trained, utilizing the uppercut when he's chest to chest, shoulder to shoulder against his opponent here. Oh, you have to recognize situations, and he understands on the inside that's exactly what you should be doing. When your opponent has his gloves up, there's an opening to split the guard, especially when he's leaning forward, and he's leaning forward just a little bit. Right to the head with that right. Bang the body! The kid's so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. Gives one. The right hand scores well. And another jab. The kid's punch is far off the target. Turns the favor with a right hand of his own. The kid's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. Oh, everybody will tell you, you can't get away with that. What a big, wide-sweeping whip that was. Well, you can get away with it if the guy doesn't want to throw back, but if this guy wants to start throwing back, then you're not getting away with it. Right back at him with a left hand. One, two jabs up top. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by the dragon. The kid's starting to score at ease against his opponent there. Anytime you can land a three-punch combination, you're really hitting your groove. And that's the end of round six. He's winning the fight. I mean, don't, don't tell me anything different than he's winning the fight. Yeah, except at the end of the fight, sometimes these judges, they do tell you things differently. Right. Hopefully that's not the case. Well, he's, he's up way on the punch stats. I know he's ahead on your scorecard, and you can just tell everything that's happening in the ring, he's in control. Not hitting his mark there, going upstairs. Scores with the combo to the head. The Dragon's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. The take, and here comes the left hand. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Uppercut! Uppercut! That's 
great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by the Dragon. That's it. Just like that. putting forth a great combination there. with that headshot. The kid's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Able to get him up against the ropes. success so far just based on his pure hand and foot speed but there is some concern yeah you know you got a guy with a real fast car he needs a racetrack he needs the right place to use that speed to kind of run with it a little bit right now his opponent needs to change that landscape don't give him that racetrack step out of range a little bit and leave him there let him shadow box but don't stay in a position where he could be effective Dragon's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Effective with that one-two. And round seven comes to an end. The Dragon's corner is going to need to sprinkle some magic dust on him. They need this to be a quick turnaround here. At the start of round number eight, it's almost reached the point of being hopeless. Yeah, you know, I think physically there's still something there, but the problem is he doesn't think there's still something there. And if, for all intents and purposes, if he doesn't think so, might as well not be. That's classic work with the double jab. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. The kid's not skipping a beat. He came out just the way he finished up last round. Yeah, what I like is that he's a thinking man's fighter, and his corner gave him probably good advice. They know that the opponent only had 60 seconds to recover, and they're figuring it wasn't enough time. Oh, what an exchange! You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Comes right back at him with a left hand. The Dragon's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. but he carries it away. The kid's showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Lock there. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Combination to the head. He is not in. Oh! Late goings here of this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it? The refs.
stops the fight. The kids' corner is already celebrating. His opponent unable to beat the count.